Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, as well as the thumbnail, in today's video, we will be comparing and contrasting and trying to figure out which one is better or whatever between the Felicia Leatherwood brush and the Pattern Beauty brush. So, backstory. I never used to use natural hair brushes, brushes, Denman brushes, any of that on my hair. And then I went ahead and copped this Pattern Beauty brush with the rest of the collection. If you guys did not see my review on that collection, I'll go ahead and link it above in the cards. But yeah, that brush... This brush, brushes in general have changed my wash day routine overall and I'm just upset that nobody ever put me on before and told me like, sis, like you need a brush. Whether it's a Demon brush, a pattern brush, a Felicia Leatherwood brush, you need a brush. And they have just changed my wash day routine tremendously. So... These two brushes have been like the talk of the town, I feel. The Felicia Leatherwood brush was a thing like a year ago. All of the YouTubers were uploading videos about it. And then the Pattern Beauty brush came about with the collection and it didn't come to play. But when I did post my review on the Pattern Beauty collection, a lot of people were asking me how I thought that this brush compared to the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So I'm doing this video today to let you guys know, is Pattern better? Is Felicia better? Like... What do I think of each one? So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to start off with a demo showing you guys how they work on each side of my hair. And then I'll be back to tell you guys what I think of each one, which one is better, and all of that, all of that. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and make that join gray because... You'll be back for more. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy. And before you head out, don't forget to drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the demo. So we're starting off with the Felicia Leatherwood brush. And I like this brush because it's easy to manage since the handle of the brush is so wide. I don't have to like clench my hand around a small brush the brush is very wide to hold on to also another thing that i love is that the brush adjusts to the movement of your hair so if you combing through and you come to a stop because you got you know a little nap a little knot or whatever the brush kind of adjusts to that it doesn't like keep tugging and end up ripping out your hair also with the felicia leatherwood brush compared to the pattern beauty brush I lost less hair, but I think that's because the bristles on the Felicia Leatherwood brush are not as dense as the Pattern Beauty brush. So as we're combing through, you know, it's detangling our hair, but it's not really catching each and every knot, if that makes sense. Also, I just wanted to note as a tip for any beginners or people who just didn't know, but when I, whenever I detangle my hair in the shower, one, I make sure that I have conditioner or deep conditioner in my hair. Lately, I've been detangling during the step of conditioning as well as deep conditioning. Also, when you detangle, you want to detangle from ends to roots. Because if you start at your roots and you have a lot of naps, and you're just going to end out end up ripping out a whole bunch of your hair. So those are just two tips that you want to make sure you follow as you are detangling your hair in the shower. But... The Felicia Leatherwood brush, I loved it. My hair was nice and detangled. As you guys can see, my curls are popping, but they're not like, you know, it's not too much going on as we're going to see in the next clip. Um, but the Felicia Leatherwood brush is great. It is. I loved it. And I'm just so happy that I made this purchase. And I'm just going to close in so you can see the effect of the Felicia Leatherwood brush on our hair. Hair is nice and juicy and moisturized from this conditioner. In this clip, I had in my Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree um, Conditioner, bomb.com. But now we're going to move on so that I can show you guys how the Pat and Beauty brush performs when it comes to detangling hair in the shower. Okay, so now we are on to the Pattern Beauty Shower Brush from the Tracy Ellis Ross Pattern Beauty Collection. If you guys did not see that review that I did, make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description box down below. But this brush was the first shower brush that I ever tried, and I mentioned that in my review. 
And this totally changed my mind about my wash day routine. It just had me reconsidering and rethinking so many things. This brush was amazing. With this brush, the bristles are more dense, so you guys can see that I'm like combing out more tangles. Also, the curls are very much more defined than when we use a Felicia Leatherwood brush. I just wanted to note that. So another key difference between the two brushes is that the Pattern Beauty brush handle is thinner than the Felicia handle. So I have to kind of like grip this brush more, which is why I'm holding like the top of the brush versus the handle. I just wanted to note that because that was a difference for me between the two brushes. And also the Pattern Beauty brush is stiff. It doesn't have a flexible um, body like the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So instead of your the brush moving in the movement of your hair your hair has to move in the movement of the brush which causes more breakage i find that i have more breakage using this brush but i don't know if it's because we were detangling more knots or because the brush doesn't flex to the movement of the hair but now i'm going to go through and let you guys know my overall thoughts and opinions on both brushes and which one i prefer or whatever so we just saw these two brushes go to work. Work, 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 work. And now I want to come back and let you guys know my thoughts on each one of these brushes. So we can go ahead and start off with the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So the Felicia Leatherwood brush retails for $14. It comes in this popping pink color a black color and i believe it comes in like a turquoise color as well so it does come in different colors it is a lightweight brush that's one thing that i can say i love how lightweight it is it just makes it super easy for handling it for traveling and it's also very sleek it's a very thin brush so based on the website, this brush is described to cater specifically to the needs of women with natural hair, glide easily through hair without breaking or damaging your hair strands, allows for the brush to gently release knots and move with your hair without pain or discomfort. It has a wide handle which is perfect for both beginners and pros and provides a comfortable sturdy grip while brushing your hair. And the brush prevents abrupt hair pulling or breaking strands and aids in preventing excess hair loss or hair shedding. So yeah, this brush I really, really love because if you have naps or knots, it doesn't like pull your hair down because the brush flexes and adjusts to like whatever position your hair decides to go in. So I really, really love that about this brush. This brush is also super easy to clean. I don't have... I have like a little bit of hair in it right now over here. But if you do need to clean it, you can just like open it up and like swipe the hair up instead of having to sit there and pick at the bristles, which I absolutely love. And it's just so easy to hold it. I feel like at this point in my life, I don't know if I'm getting old or what's going on. But I feel like I'm low-key developing carpal tunnel. But I don't know. I'm just self-diagnosing myself. But this brush makes it super easy to grip it because you don't have to like hold it like this tight and have to worry about it moving. It has like a sturdy shape. So once you hold it like this and, you know, it glides with your hair, it just makes it super easy to handle your hair. So I really, 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 really understand the hype behind this brush. It's only $14. I think after shipping and everything, it probably came to about $20. As far as shipping, it did take a little while to come because they have a three to five day processing period, which is before it actually ships out and then you still have to account for the shipping time. So it probably took like a week and a half for this brush to get to me. But I wasn't in a rush or anything, so that didn't make a difference to me. But I did want to note that. But this brush, I think it's really, really, really sleek. It's very easy to, like, hold. So, this brush, I understand the hype behind it. So, now let's move on to the Pattern Beauty brush. So, this brush retails for $17. And... It has a nice, sleek, black matte finish to it, which I absolutely love. With this brush, it doesn't have the capability to, like, clean it the way the Felicia Leatherwood brush does. So, with this one, you have to, like, I have some hair left over in here. But you have to, like, sit here and, like, pick the hair out. So, I guess that's one thing that I prefer for the Felicia Leatherwood brush over the Pattern Beauty brush. It's easier to clean Felicia rather than Pattern. However, I feel like the bristles on this brush are so fine and dense that your curls are more popping with this brush than the Felicia Leatherwood because the pattern has 
more dense bristles than the Felicia. So I feel like whenever I'm detangling in the shower, I would use this brush. Whenever I need to get like curl definition for a style, I would prefer the Pattern Beauty brush. Also, even though this brush is like black matte, it's super easy to clean and dry. After it gets wet, there's no problem with it at all, which I thought was going to be a problem because I'm like, this is sexy. This is black matte. I don't want to get her wet, but it doesn't lose like texture or anything after it gets wet, which I do like. Also with this brush, um, you don't have the capability of it flexing to whatever your hair is doing is just like no like your hair has to move with it which is why i prefer to use this after i already like detangled in a shower with the felicia leatherwood and now we're just sitting here styling our hair and we need to get our curls popping so overall i wouldn't say that one is better than the other i prefer them for different things i prefer the felicia leatherwood for detangling while i have conditioner or deep conditioner in my hair and then i prefer the pattern beauty brush when i need to get my curls popping for our hairstyle so overall i think these two brushes are really 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 good a lot of people were asking me hey i'm interested in purchasing the felicia leatherwood or hey i'm interested in purchasing the pattern beauty which one do you suggest and honestly it depends on the purpose if you're looking more for a brush for the shower felicia if you want more of a brush for curl definition pattern period so i hope this video helped comment down below and let me know your thoughts have you tried any of these brushes before which one do you prefer like what's tea comment down below and let us know and until my next video i will talk to you guys later Bye.